all right my people welcome back dss breaks silence on court judgment ordering payment of 20 billion naira to sunday Iboho. all right my people the news in details well onto this the department of state services has reacted to the judgment of the Oyo state high court directing it to pay the sum of 20 billion naira to Yoruba Nation Agitator Sunday Iboho. The secret police on Friday disclosed that it has not been served. The judgment directing it to pay Igboho over damages of his residence during an invasion on his property. Track News Online had earlier reported that the presiding judge, Justice Laderon Akintola, gave the ruling in a suit filed by Igboho through his lawyer, Yomi Aliu San. Aliu had filed a suit before the court over the invasion of DSS on his residence located at Soka area, Ibadan, or your state capital. Igbo had asked the court to compel the respondents to jointly pay him the sum of 500 billion naira as special damages for the damage done to his house and his car and another 500 million naira as exemplary and then aggravated damages for breaching his fundamental rights with the malicious invasion. He also sought an order directing the federal government and the other respondents to tender a public apology in two national dailies and return all the items seized from the house, which include two million naira cash, one thousand euros, one thousand euros travel documents, among others. The spokesman of the secret police, Peter Afunaya, however, said the court has not informed DSS. He said the court possibly has not informed us. So my official response is that I don't have any comment. Some of Iboho's aides who were arrested by the secret police have been released except two who were charged for terrorism well Igboho is currently in a benin republic okay All right according to what has been said so far a lot of things are you know, unfolding well and then on to this one dss breaks silence on court judgment ordering payment of 20 billion naira to Igboho. Well, my people, what is going on? Yeah. All right. Oh, according to no comment, majority of people have actually reacted onto this. And then, um, according to what we have gathered so far, the DSS is now telling us that, in fact, it's telling the world that he is not aware of this ruling, of this judgment, as far as DSS is concerned. Though, we are not aware. We don't know what they are talking about. <laughs> this is another serious one. Well, Kabiru, this so on this one says well this is another style of buyback and a political settlement to all those dishonest agitators living misguided supporters and then gullibles sleeping hungry stomach hmm, that's another one coming from kabiru diso well well who care honor have reacted to what Kabiru Diso has said. He says, well, stupid courts, if they know that invasion of Igboho's residence was illegal, why then did they charge 10 million naira bill for each of the arrested aides of Igboho judiciary, the headquarters of corruption in Nigeria? Hmm, this is another strong one. All right, oh, Daniel Akinola on this says, well, even if you are served a cop a copy of the judgment order who is going to effect the payment has the government obey any court order that is against them baba suwe and then many others are on the waiting list all right to so, and the prince ajibade adebusuyi says well you are right but 
at least it would be on record hmm, that is serious all right my people this is what it is on to this one well the fact now remains that as far as this movement is concerned though everybody needs to you know tell it out hmm, anybody needs to make some corrections so to say right now because hmm, majority of things a lot of havoc had been committed and then this time around this set of people have made up their minds that no going back on the movement. Okay, and they're talking about the case of Sunday Igboho right now. Hmm. I think definitely the DSS knows what is going on. Yes, and then they have to pay our right to, and then according to this, the uh, Yoruba group have insisted that the DSS should respect itself and pay honorably <laughs> oh my goodness so and uh, this one eh, actually baffled me say try and pay honorably honorably so to say or else mm -hmm, or else what oh, all right oh, this one is taking me back to what that old man said that who took my wallet or oh, else <laughs> waiting happen in 1976 will repeat itself all right oh, hmm. this is another serious one okay the yoruba leader the yoruba group have no won the dss to pay up this honorably with immediate effect all right and uh, that's another one that has also been gathered well majority of people have been of the opinion that well this set of people need to do the needful before it is too late well a lot of things are going on in this country but the truth of the matter is the the should i say the federal government right now has failed a lot of people has failed nigerians because in the first place what would or what should have warranted the invasion of dss in igboho's house in the first place what warrant was given and then why did the dss kill people in that house who actually sent them a lot of questions have been asked my people onto this who actually sent them and for what purpose why do you have to kill and then a lot of things and then somebody was like okay right now so what is going to happen who is going to pay for the damages and then meanwhile according to one of the comments i got and then i had to reason that comment and then which says why if the court actually know that what if the court actually knows that what the DSS did was actually wrong, then why then were they asking these people, the aides, to build themselves with 10 million naira and 5 million naira each? Well, a lot of things have been asked, a lot of questions have been asked, and a lot of things have been said. And the majority of people are now like, what kind of a country is this? What is going on right now? Well, the DSS had been ordered to pay the sum of 20 billion naira for damages. Hmm. All right. Oh, and then now the DSS is saying that hmm, he is not aware of all this. So we need to be informed. Okay, who is deceiving who? What is going on? Well, my people, majority of things have been said so far on to this what more can we say meanwhile let me have your take on this my people and remember to subscribe for more updates if you have not subscribed to this channel thanks and god bless